What is going on guys welcome back in today's video we're going to take a look at the different case types in programming and in particular we're going to take a look at the python naming conventions so which case types to use for which situations for variables for functions for classes and so on so let us get right into it All right, now this video is a little bit more casual because how you name your variables, functions and classes doesn't have an influence on the functionality of your code. However, it makes your code more readable and more professional, which is why you should stick to the naming conventions. And you should also know the names of the different case types so that you can communicate some styling decisions, some style guides whenever that's necessary. So let's get right into it. We have a couple of different case types and I'm not sure that the list I'm going to show you here is complete, but those are the most common ones and those are the ones that I found. Uh, maybe there are some exotic case types that are not listed here and then you can leave them in the comment section down below. Now, one of the most commonly used case types, even though not in Python, is the camel case. So camel case basically means that you start with a lowercase character. So we're going to always use the name here, my variable name, and we're going to uh, write it in the different cases. So in this case, what we would do is we would start with a lowercase m and we would continue with an uppercase character for every new word. So my variable name like this. That would be the camel case. And this is what we use in a lot of programming languages to uh, name functions and variables. So for example, in Java, that's the case. If you created a variable in Java, what you do is you say int my variable name and then equals 10 or something. Uh, and then of course, a semicolon in Java. But um, this is not something that we use in Python. So it's a commonly used case, but it's not used in Python, really. Actually, I don't know any use case in Python. So I think this is completely unless the module itself, I think there's some uh, modules that have, for example, I think OpenCV might be one, if we import CV2, maybe CV2 dot yeah, destroy all windows. So this is uh, used by some packages. But in general, in Python, that's not something that is um, defined in the naming convention but probably it's used because uh, CV2 is not implemented in Python uh, originally. Um, another case that we have is the snake case. And as the name already says, this is uh, a snake. Python is also a snake. It is used in Python for a lot of things, for variables, for function names. And this would be just using underscores to separate the words. And other than that, keeping everything in lowercase. So my variable name would be that, uh, or also my underscore function name would also be a possibility. So when we say something like my variable equals 10 or def my function, we use the snake case. And this is also the convention in Python. By the way, you can look at the conventions by visiting the following link. And if I'm not, uh, if I don't forget it, you will find the link in the description down below. And this is the peps.python.org slash pep I don't know why the copy pasting happened like this year. But that is the link uh, peps.python.org slash pep dash 0008. This is where you can read about all the naming conventions, all the uh, conventions for writing professional Python code. And I have a video on a complete uh, summary of that. So you can watch it as well if you want to. But today we're going to focus more on the cases here. So that is the most commonly used case in Python for functions for variable names. Um, but we also have different uh, cases in Python that are used. And one such case is the so called Pascal case, which probably the name probably comes from the fact that it was um, used in Pascal. Um, and this is used, this is also called sometimes the capital camel case, because it is like the camel case, but we start with an uppercase character. So it would be my variable name or actually what we most of the time use this for is for classes. And this is the case for Java, but also for Python. So when we define a class in Python, we start with an uppercase character and we don't use underscores, but we just start, uh, or we just add with, we just add additional uppercase characters for the start of every new word. So my class name would be the convention here. Uh, and this is called the Pascal case or the capital camel case. So we can maybe add this here as well, capital camel case, actually written in that case. So that is what we use for classes. Then we also have the kebab case, I hope this is pronounced correctly. 
I'm sorry if not. And the basic idea here is it's like the snake case, but instead of using underscores, we use dashes or hyphens. So we say my dash variable dash name. And this is oftentimes used for installing packages. Now, I don't know, to be honest, if that's a convention, because I don't think that you have to do it. But this is what you usually do when you install uh, packages with uh, with pip, you type pip install, and then for example, open cv python, or even though the module when you import it is called pandas data reader. So you can import pandas underscore data reader, uh, like that in snake case, the installation is actually pip install pandas dash data reader. So that would be this case that we're talking about here. And this case has a lot of different names. Uh, some of them are a lisp case, or a caterpillar case. Um, and a bunch of more that I don't want to list now all of them here, but but this is a quite common case. And in Python, it's mostly you will mostly encounter it when installing packages, oftentimes when you have also scikit learn, for example, even though you import sk learn, right. So for packages, this is uh, quite common. And then we also have the upper snake case. And the upper snake case is essentially um, just using capital letters and then the snake case. So something like my variable name like this. Uh, but usually it's not used for variables, but for constants. So when you have something like my constant, you would do it like this, you would define at the top of your script somewhere my constant equals 10 my constant two equals 20 or something, whatever. Uh, and this is the convention to use uppercase characters. And of course, if it's only one word with all of those, by the way, if it's only one word, so if you have something like, um, I don't know, let's call this neural, if that is the variable name, in camel case, it's neural in snake case, it's neural in uh, Pascal case, it would be with a capital N. Uh, in kebab case, it would be again, lowercase and in uppercase, it would be just complete. Uh, uppercase text like this. So if you don't have to use these separators, if you don't have to start with a new capital letter, if you don't have to use underscores or dashes, uh, or hyphens, uh, whatever, you don't have to do it, you just write one word without these separators. Uh, what else do we have? We have the flat case, uh, which is essentially just uh, and I think you also have the upper flat case, even though I didn't list it here in my pre uh, prepared note here. Um, but essentially, this is just no separators whatsoever, it would be my variable name, leading, of course, to not so readable names, right. And especially if you have something long, like, oftentimes, when you def uh, when you define test functions in, in programming languages, you have to describe what the test function is doing. So you would do something like test, uh, connecting to resource with valid data should return 200 or something that would be a typical name for a test function. And if you use a flat case, of course, it looks like this, and it's not very readable. And I don't recommend doing it. And I don't think that anyone is doing that. But um, yeah, probably this is something that you might want to use if you if that's part of the convention of the programming language, and you have some simple variable names, that would be uh, a possible use case. And then finally, I want to show you here the cobble case, or cobble case, I'm not sure how this is pronounced. Uh, it's basically an uppercase. Uh, it's like the upper snake case, but instead of using um, underscores, we use dashes or hyphens. So the caterpillar case or lisp case or whatever, uh, but an uppercase character. So it would be something like my dash variable dash name like this. So those are the basic cases. Again, if you know some additional ones that are maybe quite exotic, let me know in the comment section down below with some examples. Uh, but what I want to do now is I want to go through some very basic Python uh, code, it's not really something that does anything, but I want to show you uh, where you would do what in Python. So first of all, for installing packages, so pip install in this case would be open cv Python. But then the import would be import cv2. And if you had to do something, um, with multiple words, as I said, you would do something like pip install pandas data reader, uh, pandas dash data reader, sorry, and we would import pandas underscore data reader. So those are the conventions. This is how you name packages with this Lisp case here. Um, and this is how you import them or how you name the packages when you have to import them how you name the modules, you use snake case, 
Um, and then we define some constants, for example, like screen underscore width. This is done in the upper snake case. So for example, 1000 or what was it? 1920 screen height is equal to 1080. Um, and then if we define a class, for example, my visualization for this, we use the Pascal case. So uppercase character at the start and then an uppercase character for each new word. And then we have the init function here, which is special. It's a double under function. So this is not necessarily a convention. This is just the way this function uh, is named. Uh, and then we could do here's something like maybe um, we could say width height. So the parameters are in snake case. So if we had something like uh, screen height, we would do it like this. Um, but let's just go with height here. And then we would do self dot width equals width self dot height. Come on, height equals height. And then we would do something like do visualization. Then we do some code here it doesn't really matter. But if we have a variable here, for example, some calculated value equals self dot width or self dot height doesn't really matter times two plus I don't know self dot width divided by two just some random calculation here and then you can do some stuff here. So do stuff for the functionality then if we create an instance of that class the class is named with Pascal case the instance is named again with snake case so we do something like my underscore visualization is equal to my visualization like this and then my visualization do visualization with the constants from above screen width, screen height. Right, so those are the conventions. Just remember packages in um, this case here, I don't want to pronounce it again, mispronounce it again, caterpillar case. Um, in Yeah, that, that's that you have the snake case essentially for module names for function names for variable names for everything for instance names, whatever, which is again, a variable. Um, and you have the Pascal case for the classes and you have of course the upper snake case or any upper case for that matter for constants. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.